Good afternoon, everyone. My name's Thomas. I'm coming to you from MGMClassicCars.com with another gorgeous, yes, gorgeous 1972 Chevrolet Chevelle frame off recent restoration, big block 454, four speed transmission, 12 bolt Eaton Posse in the back with the sway bar, four wheel power disc brakes. God, is this thing gorgeous. Let's go over the big block Chevelle. Beautiful Daytona yellow paint. I'll do a nice walk around here with the, with the coid wheels. Really, it complements the car really nice. Beautiful stance on this car, man. Beautiful chrome rear bumper. All the stainless trim has been painted black to give it that cool venom look to it that 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 i don't know a transformer look you want to say all the emblems have been removed off the car to give it that sleek look the dual three inch exhaust with the magnaflow setup cuts out to the side to give it a little resto mod look look at this fit and finish look at that body line that goes all the way across the body this line here Okay, watch that line. Look at it. That's that's what you can tell when a bodywork on a car, and especially a Chevelle, has been done right. Look at that body, how crisp it is. No blistering in the paint anywhere. Like I said, this is a full recent frame off restoration. Look at that front grill. Look at that stance and that look. It's got the SS hood pins on it, and that boy looks bad nice beautiful like new fit and finish front chrome bumper along with the grill the wheel opening moldings have been also painted black as you can see it is a custom car okay there's your front power disc brakes and i'll show you the rears as well frame off look look at the frame okay been powder coated stripes are done excellent on the car again check out that body line that runs all the way across the body beautiful paint reflection at least a 15 to twenty thousand dollar paint job on this one door handles were painted correctly to match everything vertical strip tinted black windows all the windows roll up nice driver's passenger front windows beautiful look at that Roof looks great. Look at the reflection. There are no blemishes on my paint. Okay, nothing blistering, nothing coming out at all. I'm gonna show you something real little. It's right there, little tiny chip. Okay, we can touch that up, but I just wanted to show it. Okay, from the littlest things I will show. Right. continuing here all the way around one more time a little closer look and now let's check out let's check out underneath the car I think you guys are gonna be very very impressed new license plate that's where you put the fuel right there if you didn't know F41 three inch exhaust rotisserie restored guys you couldn't do this you couldn't buy this car and then do this and have 45 grand in it it's not gonna happen magnaflow set up on the bottom let me continue here look at the rockers how nice and crisp they are look at that frame Look at the floor pans, gloss black throughout. Beautiful. Man, is this thing gorgeous. All right, the other side looks just as good. Whew. Let's check out, let's see here. Where are those keys? Let me grab the keys. And what we'll do is we'll check out the trunk. One set of keys. Ignition, square one, and the round one is the trunk. Look at that reflection. 
I mean, you can shave in the paint. Damn. Spare Riddler 20 inch, not Riddler, I'm sorry. Koi's 20 inch. Trunk looks excellent on the car. They did the stripes correctly, as you can see. All the jams look great on this car. Factory stampings are right here. I don't know if you can see them in the reflection. It is an original upper quarter. Now from here, this line down, which tells me it's about right here, all this has been cut out and replaced with original sheet metal. There's no Bondo there. Weather stripping is excellent on the car. Here is your factory stampings, as you can see. Original passenger side rear quarter. And right there, I can't really, yeah, this one looks to be original. I can't see any seams. So beautiful rust-free, frame off, rotisserie restored, high level paint job on my Chevelle. Check out the door lips here on the passenger side. Crisp and clean. All the interior is brand new on the car, as you can see. Body by Fisher, door sill plates. Inner jams look excellent. All the weather stripping all around. Outer door jams look excellent. Carpet's new. You got a split bench in the car, okay? Which is pretty cool. Seat belts all intact. Nice package tray, tight headliner with a working dome light. Nice sun visors as well. Excellent dash pad. There's your front seat belts. And there's your Muncie. I was told it's an M21. Aftermarket radio, beautiful dash, three spoke steering wheel. Listen how this closes. Excellent. Oh, let me show you the tinted windows. Show you how that looks. Old school, baby. Roll them up. Roll out. All right. <laughs> Look at that, man. That belongs at King's Hall right there. All right. Nice, cool look to it. Now, the big block 454. Be careful with your hood pins, guys. This is a magnificent paint job. I hate for you to scratch it. You're gonna have to pull this out real slow. Best way to do it is push this down and pull out the pin, but because I'm holding a phone, I'm doing this really slow and careful, okay? Excellent reflection. You can shave in the paints. It's a mirror-like finish. To open the hood, right down here, you, while you're pulling this, you have to lift that up. So you need two hands. Voila, beautiful engine compartments. Like new core support, your dual horns. Here's your strikers for your hood pins here, your washer bottle, beautiful radiator cover, no heating, no overheating problems. Like new battery, no problems. Inner fenders have been painted black. Nice high gloss black firewall along with the other side of the inner fender. Frame is brand new as you can see on the bottom there. All the bushings have been replaced. I mean, look at that down in there. Okay, look at the reflection, the heartbeat reflection on the firewall. <laughs> 454. Guys, I want to say it's built up a little bit because it does move out. Demon carburetor, Edelbrock high-rise intake. All of these, look at these chrome pulley kit right here. It's not cheap. Correct hoses to make it this thing to look excellent. Headers have been added. There's your ignition in the back, your power steering, your power four-wheel disc brakes. Underside of the hood is excellent as well. All right, let's check out the driver's side now. Look at this, look at this cowl. Woo, Charlie. All right, nice sport mirror there. 
door lips on the driver's side are excellent. Inner outer door jams are excellent. Look at that finish. Again, it is a split bench, okay? Easy in out access. Car show 76,096 miles. On the entire restoration, I was told there's less than 3,000, and I believe it. Look at the RPM deck. When do you see that, man? All right, so we're going to get this baby fired up. I want you to hear the exhaust and then hear the motor, and then after that, we'll go for a ride. All right, so the square key is for the ignition. Put it in the on position. Clutch in. Let's listen to the exhaust. Oh man, I know you like that. Let's get a little closer now. test drive hood close is excellent again be careful putting and installing back these hood pins nice and easy okay if you're not paying attention you will scratch it and it's gonna cost you some money okay light switch baby there's your right turn signal and your left turn signal check out the rpm tech <laughs> stereo work cd player am fm heater control is inoperable this car did come down south so no one ever puts the heat on um it's only driven on beautiful days guys wipers do function and you'll never use them right never use them never take the car out when you think it's going to rain all right well there you go i just want you guys to know the horn does not function okay so be aware of that dash looks brand new Let's put the camera up and go for a ride. You can see all my photos again at mgmclassiccars.com. That's that wheel in the back. All right, so we're headed back to the warehouse. You guys seen everything on my Chevelle. It's a quality car. Take it to any car show. You're going to get the wows and the woos. Big curb appeal with big power and a great look. The work is already done, guys. You can have this thing in your in your garage this weekend. Hey, what's going on? I'll do a quick walk around one more time. Breast cancer right here in Chicago. Here's Jill Swanson, cancer survivor and founder of Lemons of Love, loading up the board and delivering the most thoughtful care packages for those going through chemo. 